Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We have a new update. It is 2020.44.10.1. Let's talk about it. Hey folks, welcome back. Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes, what's in the update, I thought maybe I'd explain to people at home that don't know why they number these numbers and updates how they do because there is a rhyme and reason why they do it now when you look at 2020 that's obvious that's self-explanatory that is the year after that 44 that is the week of the year so i think week 44 is october 26 or something like that. so after that dot 10 is the revision and then dot one after that is the revision of the revision so they did like a fine improvement of some sort on that so you basically it basically means this update was made for october 26 of 2020 and it was the 10th revision and then within that revision they revised it once again for the dot one so that's just an ex a quick explanation of uh, the software numbering screen so let's get into the update folks so first of all we have autopilot set speed so now you can change autopilot uh speed by by just adjusting the controls in in terms of a fixed way or a percentage way and we'll get into it and i'll show you how that is we have some spotify improvements spotify it was funny spotify was begged for by so many people last year and then finally we got it in version 10 and people rejoiced and loved it and everything and after some time people forgot about it or started complaining it didn't have this feature didn't have that feature it wasn't rich with with in, with features so people just complained uh, i didn't have a problem with it but some people did um, so we'll look at the improvements on that media search improvement. Now that's something that I can honestly say that I can complain about because yeah, when you're searching for something, you've got, you got Slacker, you got Spotify, you've got tune in. And when you search for, it, you didn't know where you were searching in and it, it, it was, it, it needed fixing. So they fixed that. And, um, I don't know who asked for this one, but media sources, that's a great, um, improvement. And I'll show you how that is. You can basically customize your your uh, selection on the bottom and you can choose which you want because there's so many and we don't need it all some people would some people won't and then of course not not that to not give it any attention but there's some voice command language uh improvements and uh they've added some more so we won't go through that you can just look at that uh, yourself if you want so let's just check out the um autopilot speed stuff first so if you go to autopilot in the settings we scroll down here we can see that this is the new speed uh, set speed and it's set to current speed or you can toggle it to um, speed limit before we had this with the relative and absolute and the offset that uh, something completely different don't get confused with that so if you go to current speed you can just use current speed and if you touch on the little i it gives you an information it says when you engage autopilot the cruising speed will be set to the following speed limit or current speed speed limit means the speed limit of the road adjusted by the offset specified or the current driving speed whichever is greater and then current speed means the current driving speed which is obvious so so current driving speed that's self-explained what it is uh, and if you go to speed limit now it ungrades this section here now you can play around with this if you go to that it says when set speed is speed limit one of the following offsets can be applied to detect the speed limit fixed basically means apply the fixed speed and offset for all roads so say you want to go f five kilometers over it'll do five kilometers over on city streets if you're doing 50 kilometers an hour or it'll do five over on a highway if you're doing 100 kilometers an hour so it's it's fixed percentage basically means apply the percentage offset that varies based on the speed limit of the road. And I'll show you an example of that. So here it's fixed and we can go from zero all the way to 33 kilometers, which I think is about 20 miles an hour. So that's the most you can do and you can go anywhere in between. But if you do percentage, now you can go as a percentage. And when you when you slide this and you add it, it, it Tesla's smart enough that they put a little a little uh, conversion chart. So it, and it gives you an example. If you're doing 50, 10% would be 55. If you're doing 120 which not many roads in ontario are 120 there's a couple though you'll be doing 132 that's 10 percent over uh 120 would be 132 so it gives you a little kind of an idea so you, you can know so that's going to come in really handy for autopilot now i haven't checked uh the autopilot to see if any improvements have been made on that nothing is documented there's usually not an update that goes out without some kind of behind the scenes autopilot enhancements and and uh bug 
fixes and tweaks and stuff like that. Maybe not big enough to document in the uh, release notes, but in the background, behind the scenes, I'm sure there's some autopilot uh, fixes, bug fixes at least. So if we open up our media, let's go to uh, the media sources. So if you open it up fully and you go to settings, now you can see in the sources tab here, it shows you all the things we have, radio, phone, streaming, Spotify, karaoke, and TuneIn, and they're all tog toggleable, I guess is a word. So you can take them off. My FM radio doesn't work, so I don't like using radio streaming slacker. I'd rather use Spotify, so I take that off. Uh, karaoke, I've never used karaoke, karaoke, even at the very beginning, so I take that off. And see, when you take three off, it grays out all the rest because they want you to have at least a minimum of three. So that's good to know that you can put back on karaoke and you can take off phone. So once again, you can have any combination as long as it's a minimum of three. So it sort of limits you. So let's take off karaoke. Now you can see if we come out of this, you can see the bottom is a lot more cleaner and a lot more organized. It's got phone, Spotify, and TuneIn. You can't adjust them in different spots, but it's better than nothing. So one of the other things is is the good feature is in Spotify how the enhancements are now. You've got um, home replayed, uh, recent played playlists, artists, albums, podcasts. If you go to podcasts, this is new. Didn't have podcasts before, and a you know a little selfless plug here. Uh, I don't listen to my own podcast. I just put it up there to make sure that it is working. <laughs> and then genres and moods, which I think they had before. So I think all this stuff is new, and this genre and moods is something that they had bef before. But it looks a lot more richer. Another thing I want to show you is, see, I've got uh, Ryan, Ryan's right, the lightning on here. And if you look right in the top corner here in the top left, you see it grayed out a little bit. You see the little tune in icon. So now, even if you're minimized, you know where your source is coming from. You know where, where the music or, or the podcast is coming from, what source, because it gives you a little icon there. They didn't have that before. That's a nice added improvement. And watch, let's try out the search. Play. Pearl Jam on Spotify. So we wait for it to come on. It's coming on. And uh, now, look, look, you can see, if you look at the little icon here, it's a little Spotify icon. And uh, if you play it, well, it won't play. I don't want to get a, a copyright strike or anything like that. But you can do anything. You could uh, even search. I don't want to search for different things, but you can go back to tune in and um, you can play one of Ryan's shows and you see how it changes there. And if, if you did have something else on, if you had FM on or something else, this icon would change. And that's it, folks. Uh, like I said, I don't want to go through the autopilot stuff, and I'm not going to go for a drive. But that is the update in itself. We got the auto uh, set speed, the Spotify improvements, the media search improvements, and the uh, media sources. That's it, folks. This is it. This is what you get for uh, 2020.44 as of October 6th. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.